Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. If you are watching this as it comes out, uh, that means you're missing the live stream and that makes you one of my favourite people because you just want to watch me. But we are currently streaming, and you can catch up on this or you can come back to this video, but we are currently streaming the 500k puzzles from our free app and Simon and I are solving them um, roughly alternately. I don't know. I haven't, we haven't recorded that. Well, obviously we haven't recorded that because it's live and I have recorded this. So um, I don't know. There, there was, I think the first few will be alternate today and it depends how many we get through, whether we come off that at some point. Um, anyway, ah, blah, blah, blah. Right, that is going on on the channel. So you can look for the um, streams on the channel and you'll find that somehow. Uh, now, what else is going on? On Patreon, we've put up a collaborative solve as well. So there's lots of opportunity to watch it. Simon and me solving extra puzzles now. Um, and that's one where we both have a go at this brilliant triple puzzle Jabberwocky by Dad Jokes. Do check it out if you're a Patreon. Um, also, you have a couple of days left to enter the monthly competition and send in your answer to Linked Sudoku, which was relatively straightforward next month. We're going to have a really fascinating um, collection of puzzles by the Skunk Work Collective. And uh, that's really interesting. Uh, duality puzzles. I love them. They're really, really, really clever, which is unsurprising. Now, what else have we got going on? We've got, um, well, you can check out all our apps on the links, uh, if, especially if you click the single app link in this description field, it'll take you to our website where you can immediately click on the links to all the apps and see a hideous picture of Simon and myself. So anyway, that's all going on. Do check everything out. Uh, there's also merch. But the five puzzles today are going to be gas puzzles. We're doing genuinely approachable Sudoku because although it's three days since the last time I did this, it's 10 days since the previous time, and that gets me slightly back on track, so I'm only doing these a month behind. Um, they were posted on the Daily Puzzle uh, channel of the, of the Discord server from the 16th to the 20th of August, and yeah, we are going to do those all. So let's... Uh, what I'll do is I will read, as usual, the Discord... Um, on the Discord channel, the guys posted, Philip, uh, Clover, and Sam posted some intros, and uh, they will include the rules. So we'll go through the rules of all the puzzles in one go, and then we will do all the puzzles one by one. So we start with the 16th of August. Uh, that's the puzzle on the screen. Um, not feeling well today, says Philip, so no snappy intro. Instead, he provided a link to some uh, Weird Al Yankovic. Um, poor old Philip. I think it was COVID, in fact. Uh, today's gas, he says, is a palindrome Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along a grey line must form a palindrome, reading the same from either direction. And there's hat times for uh, quicker solvers and medium solvers and all other solvers will receive a terrifying perigosaurus. So we were still in the part of the um, the part the month where the puzzles were in alphabetical order. So this is a palindrome. So we got to P. And the title is Panama Mama Nap, which I can tell is a palindrome, of course. But it also is notably a word that has A in every other position or a phrase that has A in every other position, which is why I strongly recommend eating taramasalata with banana rama by the Panama Canal. Um, now, what's next? So next puzzle is this one called Quadruples by Clover. Q we're up to, off, up to obviously, and Clover says, if you've quound yourself in a querulous quandary, questioning the quality of Quiday's quaffering, then quell your concerns. It's a quaint yet quirky quadruples quidoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits in a white circle must appear somewhere in the four cells surrounding that circle. If a digit appears twice in a white circle, it must appear twice in the four surrounding cells. And in this case, all other quolvers will quern a quality quisitosaurus. And I'm guessing that Clover has uh, adapted a dinosaur name to put a Q in it rather than found a real one. 
but I've been so wrong on guessing that dinosaur names are not real, including the three-letter one last time, which was. Right, then we move on to a Renban Sudoku by Sam. Today's puzzles are Renban Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. In addition, the numbers on each pink line must be a set of consecutive numbers without repeats, but they can appear on the line in any order, and all other solvers will receive erotic regaliceratops. Now, this pink line gives me a chance to remember that we're providing two links to the puzzles. One is a tiny URL link to play the puzzle in our software, where I can't put a pink line in it. I can put a purple line in it, but Sam can put a pink line in it. And the other link is to F puzzles in case you can't use tiny URL. Then on the fourth day, we go on to another Philip puzzle. Normal Sudoku rules apply. A value outside the grid is a sandwich clue. It tells you the sum of the digits between the one and the nine in that row or column, not including the one and nine themselves. The dinosaur here is a Saturnalia sigillarius, and Philip provides a COVID update. My head still feels gross, but at least not stuck in bed. Luke had a very rough day yesterday, poor guy, but doing much better today. Wife's having a worse day. I expect it'll be her turn in bed all day while I handle parenting duties, brackets read, put something on the TV. And Zoe is totally fine. She might already have had it. She was sick over the weekend, but nothing near as severe as the rest of us. So jealous of her immune system. So a full update on Philip's family there and our best wishes go to them. It was a month ago now, so I'm sure they're all better. Uh, then we move on to the fifth puzzle. Clover says to commemorate both the recent heat wave and Philip's bout with COVID. Today's gas is a thermo Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along a thermometer must increase, not necessarily consecutively, starting from the round bulb. And the dinosaur is a tasteful testavinsaurus. So there we go. So the first links under the video are to the puzzles. I am going to take them on one at a time. I'm going to restart my clock each time. Let's get cracking. Okay, so there's a six there. Regular Sudoku to start with. Now, let's look at the palindromes. It's this long one, surely, that's going to provide information. Or is it? I don't know. That will be the same as that. They can't be six, four, seven, one, two, three, or five. So that's a nine or eight. Am I going to have to do this all the way around? All the way round. Ah, look, this is naked. One, two. Th this has to be the same digit, but it can't be one, two, three in column seven, eight, six in row five, or seven or four. So that's a nine. This one's an eight. Um, can this? keep going. This can't be a... Yes, that's a seven. There's no other digit it can be. This is a six. It is working. Thank you, Philip. Now, we've turned the corner, and I'm doubtful. Seven, eight, one, six, four. Mm, okay, let's just use what we've got. So that's a five, four pair. That must be four or five as well. Here we've got a one, two pair. Ah, we know which way round they go. Two and one. Seven, nine, eight, four, six. So, six, seven. Four must be there. It can't be there because it would also be there. Two, three, and five. That can't be five. So that's a two, three, five triple in the column. Eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Can nine be there? Yes. So nine's in one of those two. Eight. Eight is definitely there by Sudoku. This seems a bit of a ham-fisted way of going about it. One of those has to be a four, again, by Sudoku. Five's definitely there. That's not any use. Right. Two can't be here, so it's there. Same deal as in the other one. So again, a one, three, five, that's a triple. Again, seven, eight, nine, triple that I can't use. That can't be a one. Two, six. Oh, I don't know how you get out of this particular impasse. Um, there's a six in one of those two cells. 
Whatever this is, is repeated here somewhere. That's not in so oh, can that be seven? No. So we place seven in row five. That can't be seven. Um, so what can this be? One, three, or five? What can this be? Two, seven, eight, one, six, four, three, five, or nine. I'm going to do this because I haven't really got another method of making progress one three four or five as far as i can see this one's useless it is the center of a palindrome um oh look there's a four looking at this cell i'm so blind right five there so no fives in those digits or those ones which are on the palindrome Oh, this has been much more straightforward than I've been allowing. Okay, interesting. Six, five, four, now. I must be getting through now, surely. Five, seven, maybe not. Maybe not. Not quite done here. Let's look up this middle column. That is one or three. That is a pair. So we get nine and we get four. And we can do those on the palindrome, four and nine. Let's just remove those pencil marks. Ah, and that fixes the four pencil mark in the center. This is three or five. Now down here we've got that a naked two. This is an eight six pair, so it's also on the little palindrome. Six eight pair there makes that a nine. Uh, one three four to go in row eight. One and three there makes that a five. We can place two. Got a one, three pair. That's a five. That's not. That's a three to complete an eye wing. Ah, oh, and that finishes off the useful palindrome digits there. Five, six on this little one, but we know that's a five. So that can't be three. This can't be six, probably hasn't been since I marked it first. That's become a three. Um, two, no. That can't be nine. So nine's in one of these two. That's not what to do. Eight, eight in row seven is there. So that's an eight. That must be where eight goes in box one. All the eights are done. That's one or two. So that's a seven. Seven goes there in the palindrome's useless spot. That's a three, right. So I think we're getting done now. One, three, two, three. Um, two, nine, six over here. We can fill them in. Four and one. That's a seven. I don't know about this three five pair on the palindrome. I probably do four nine seven, and then we get a five here, and that tells me everything I need to know. Five one. There we go. Six minutes sixteen. Could just have missed the two hat time because that wasn't too hard, and I was missing for quite a while. Was it the nine that was doable somewhere? I'm not sure, but I was missing something. Anyway, let's have a look at Clover's quadruples. Quillover's quadruples. Let's go. So, there is a double six here. Ah, that means those can't be six. So, ah, that has to be six because one of those is already a six in the box. So that places the fives. That's an eight. Didn't start in the top left. I should normally do that with a Clover puzzle. So that's now a six, seven, and that's a six, five pair. We know the order. Right, there's a six here as well. There's two ones up here. So the one here is in that cell. Eight, sevens. I knew it couldn't be there because of the two ones there. Um, so there's an eight here. This There is a disarming symmetry here. Let's do it again. Three's there. So that places the three on that one. Two, one. Can we do it down here? Yes, there's a five with a pair of fours and a three. So all those 
doubled up ones. They were very accessible. Now we need a two on this one, so we can keep going with that theory. What about this? We need a an eight, which has to go there. There it is. Sevens and a two. And this one, I bet I can place one of the digits. Is it a four? I'm not sure this time. Four's in one of those two, so six is in one of those. Oh, yes. Yes, all of those can't be four. It is four. And it is perfect symmetry in that idea. Very well executed. Right. So also, I could even mark that there's a four there and a two there. Ah, there's a seven around this one. It's got to be here. So seven goes there. Two goes there. Five... Yes, five goes there, eight. Which of these digits can I place? Three, so six. Which of these ones now? One, and that's four. So we get a nine in the center. We need a five on this. We need a seven on this one. We need a one. This is a beautifully elegant puzzle. I mean, if you ever want to know how to construct a puzzle, this is how. One, five, four, seven, six, three. That's a nine. Two and eight there, four and six over here. I'll get to those. Five to finish off. We need a nine there. Six. Let's finish off all these eye wings. Four, three. This we must know. It's a nine, two, and then two digits at the tops of column seven and eight. No, column six and seven. There we go. So the two has done those. The six has done those. I'm sure I can do these two and these two, yes. And now it's just the Fistemafel corners left. Two, one, nine, three, nine, one, eight, seven, five, six, seven, nine, four, three, nine, five. And for once, I cannot. I could certainly can't reproach Clover. That is a beautiful puzzle, but I can't even reproach myself because I think I attacked that largely in the right order and with the right approach. I mean, Clover provided the symmetry and I just followed the trail of breadcrumbs, frankly. Fantastic. Love that. Okay, Sam's Renban. So the numbers on a pink line must be a set of consecutive numbers without repeats, but appearing in any order. Okay, so let's go. Um, right, so these are three to nine, and we've got a one, two outside them. Oh, that's four, five, eight. Now, what does that tell me about the line? Oh, that's two, three, nine. So two, three, nine, four, five, eight. This is a six and a seven on that R. Oh, look, it's R for Renban. I've only just worked that out. Now we get a four here by Sudoku and a three here. Let's have a look at this column. Four, five, nine. Now there's got to be a three on this line. It's got to be there. Then this is one or four. It must be one. Seven. Oh, I do like Sam. He sees Sudoku the same way I do. But it'll be Philip next. Two and a three. That has to be three because there's no two on this line. Then five, six, eight there, nine and two over here. This is a one, seven, six triple. I think I'm gonna get a fast time on this puzzle. Um, and of course I say that just at a point when I suddenly can't see anything else. Nine, eight, three, five, we need, two can't be on the line, so two is there. Four could be on the line. Um, that can't be six. What have we got to put on the line? Five, eight, and four. So that is a four. Now, that's not a one. So that's a one. Five, seven, and eight. No. I think I've done all the Renban stuff. Yes, that's become a one. If what I was doing was right there. Two there. I think I've finished nearly all the twos. No, not quite. That can't be nine, that can't be two, that can't be three. Similarly with four, eight, and five, I can take out one of each. There's another one. Nine, seven, six, two, one. We need a five in one of those two, so that's a five. Seven, eight pair that I can't finish off. Hmm, my hubristic hopes of finishing really quickly have taken a bit of a dive here. Eight is definitely in one of those cells. Three is in one of those. 
There is a nine here, so that's a nine. And this is seven or eight. That's three or eight. Could easily be a three in the corner. There's no eight here. But there is a nine and a six. Six has to be here. Don't know about nine. That's three or seven. That seems to be the only place for seven in the column. So that's something I should have spotted ages ago and would have helped dramatically. Three, six there. We've got eight, seven over this side. Um, four, five, eight. So three and nine here. Now they can go in. Now I can do all the triples. I would think. Let's go down here. Yes. Four, five, two and five, four, eight. They're all done. This has become a five, eight, five, six does three and six. It isn't. Oh, it's three in the bottom corner instead of the top corner. And that's a finish. Three minutes, 26. So even though I got a bit stuck when I started crowing about how quickly I was going, it was still fine. Whew. So back to Philip off from the nemesis. Let's see how this sandwich Sudoku goes. Let's go. Okay. 35 means a 1 and a 9 in the corners. So that's straightforward. Now that can't be. Oh, and that can't be. So that's the 1 9 pair with 2 3 outside. Can do the same in this column. 1 9 pair with 2 3 outside. Knowing the 35 maximum helps a lot in this puzzle. Now, either that or that is a 1 or 9. Don't want to get bogged down now. Is it worth colouring? I'm going to. I'm going to go mad and colour. I think this could, in the end, be a time saver for me. I'm colouring all the cells that can't be one or nine. Let's start with those. I've done these because of the naught clue. Um, also those because of another zero clue. That can't, oh yeah, it can't be actually. Um, oh look, we've got the one and nine in this row and this, yes, of course. Trying to save time by not coloring the ones and nines a different color. Ah, look, that gives me a one nine pair in the central box. There's a five clue here. So that's another one nine. This is a five that was worth doing. That goes green. So does that. Um, this has a five clue too. Yes, so one same same dealio there. We get a five and that's green, that's green. This, yeah, with a 15 clue, that has got to be a one or a nine. We get a three there. We've got a 15 clue here. That gives us a four here. Yes, just checking in my mind that I'm not missing possibilities there. Oh, look, one, nine, Oh, has that suddenly run out? Yes, it has. That's a two now, so that's three. We need five, eight, and six in this column. Bother. I thought that was going to be doable. We've done the 15s. We've done the fives. We haven't done the 20 clues. So there's a one or a nine here, and a nine definitely up here. Could be three cells, eight, seven, five, bother. Um, ah, there's a one here to make this 15 work. I didn't fill it in, right. Still could be eight, seven, five here, probably is. No, it's not, that can't be a nine. Right, that zero clue disambiguates everything. So there's a one there, that's a nine, right. So there we go, I'm not coloring anymore because it's not gonna help with the time. Um, that's a one, that's a nine. We can unwind all the ones and nines I've got marked. That's a nine. So the one must be here. I think that's all the nines and ones done. Uh, now we just need to fulfill oh, 20 there. We've got eight, we need another 12. That's not simple actually. There's various possibilities, so I probably need to do Sudoku instead. We're going to get a seven in those positions. 
four, eight, six down here. That can't be six, that can't be eight. There's an eight over here. Sure, there's a two up here. I'm sure there's something absolutely straightforward, probably a sandwich thing that I'm not getting. Four is here. I don't really want to tackle that 20 at the moment. That's a difficult number. Um, eight, seven, but maybe I'm going to have to because I don't seem to have anything else to go on. That's seven or eight. Three, one, six, nine. Bother. Right, 20 with, so 12 more. Could be two, four, six, three, four, five, or two, three, seven. They all look possible to me. I don't see how that is quickly solved. There's a two up there somewhere. Nine, four, six, one, two, three. That is five, seven, or eight. This one is five or seven. Oh, so it's either three, four, five, or two, three, seven. If it's two, three, seven, that's two and that's three. If it's three, four, five, that's five. That's three again and that's four. So this is always three. Is that really the breakthrough? I think it might be. Three there, two there, two there, seven, eight. Philip, you know how to do it, don't you? That can't be an eight. So that's a five, six pair. So this is a seven, eight pair, and that's a five. Now this has to be a four, if my maths is right. I think it is. That's an eight. Um, what's next? Eight there. Two, four, six in this row. Can't do those. Two, seven, six in this column. Can't do those. That's a naked five. Four and six in this column still to go. The five didn't get me much. Oh, two, four, six here. That one can't be two. Right, one, two, three. I don't know. There's a five there. Should I keep on knocking in fives around the grid? Looks like it. Yeah, they're all done suddenly. Uh, so that becomes a six, and that probably is helpful. Seven and four here. The six makes that a four. That fixes the seven four pair that I just wrote in. Three and eight here. The three fixes a two on the other side. That becomes a seven. We need a seven at the top, which fixes two below. Seven, that's a naked four. Six and three. Eight, four pair at the top. This has become a six. That makes that a four. Three two, seven, oh, I don't know, I feel like I might have made a mistake here somewhere, but everything seems to be working, so maybe not. That's a two, and it would be a bit of a nasty shock at this point. Six and seven, I think that's right. Ooh, seven minutes, 18. I don't think that's easy though, especially not that step after identifying where the one nines are. So I reckon that might give me two hats because they're normally fair. Okay, Thermo by Clover and we're hoping Philip gets well soon. Right. Ooh, there's a lot of Thermo coverage in this. Nine in that box has to be there. Uh, that can't be nine, so now nine is there. This is a very slow way of getting at Thermos, but... Oh, nine in this box. There is only one candidate. Nine always has to be on the end of a thermo. Nine has to be in one of those two. One of those two. Uh, no, I don't know there. One of these two. Now it's there. That means it doesn't mean anything in box one. Mm, that one ran out a bit. One has to be on that bowl. Therefore, on this bulb. 
So that's not a one. I don't know what to do with this. Oh, that's a one as well. So one's in one of those two cells and one of those two. This is very symmetrical with the nines. Suspiciously so. Um, is it time to pencil mark? This feels like an absolute cop out. Yeah, it works though. You get seven down here. Let's do it. No, I don't know. I don't, that's got to be a one, of course. Now, if that's not a nine, yeah, that pencil marking is right. What's that telling me? That two is in one of those positions. That's not enough. Five, six, one, seven, nine. Okay, so let's do it up here as well. That's not okay. Two, three, four, three or four. I don't think it can be higher. No, it can't. So that's two or three, right? Then we have a lot of freedom back. Four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. It's so awful that I have to do this with pencil marks, but never mind. Um, six and five in this column. No, not that useful. Okay, I'm going to pencil mark this one as well. Four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so I learn where two goes in this box, and then three. And that means that's not a two, so that's a two. And that pushes up this thermo a little bit. Um, three, nine, two, one, seven, six, five. So that's an eight now. Four in the center of the grid. Which feels like it might help a little, but doesn't immediately. Two in one of those, eight in one of those. This, I was going to say it can't be seven, but that's absolute nonsense. Um, Oh, don't say I'm going to have to pencil mark all of these boxes to find out the truth. I think I probably am. Let's just get on with it. Two, three, four, three, four. No, it can't go up to six. Okay, good. So two or three, three or four, four or six. Then five, six, seven, six, seven, eight here. Two, three, four. No, hang on. This is seven or eight. This is five or seven. This is four or five. Then we've got, a no, we don't have any more freedom. This becomes a, a three and that's a two for definite. Oh, wow. See, I do have to do it by pencil marks every time. Five and eight here. Don't get the thermo the wrong way around suddenly. Four. Oh no, something's gone wrong there. Okay. So I think it happened when I started pencil marking these thermos. So I'm going to start that again. Two, three, four. Three, four, six. But this can't go as high as seven. So five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. I think that's right. That can't be six. Now that can't be four. That all seems okay. And this one has to end in seven or eight. Yeah, it can't be six because of that four in the middle. So if I've gone wrong before this, well, that's going to be a problem, but I'm going to have to deal with it. This is a three. That's a two. The trouble is, I think this is all right. I can't see how that can be possibly wrong. Seven, five, four. Then I get six, eight here. Oh, maybe that is right. So I think maybe I entered... Either I typed in that digit wrong or entered two sixes on the right. Okay. So that's cost a lot of time, but we're back on track. Two there, eight there. We can finish off with a seven and a three. That does four, five, six, and a seven there. Four, five, six here, and a three there. Okay. Now that's become a six, weirdly. That's a five. That has to be a one, two or three, three or four. This can't be, in fact, that is a four. That makes this a five. 
six, seven, seven or eight, nine on the end. Now this row, six, eight, seven, five, and these have to be higher. So one and two are over here. And this must go three, four, nine, must do. That's a two, we get a four here. Um, I don't know, right, let's do this one. Six, seven, eight, with a five in the corner. Three, eight here, I can do those now. That is not eight, so eight is here. One, seven, eight, yes, I can do that. So I think I'm on the right track now. Nine there, gonna have to go across and do one, six, seven on the thermo. We get a six here. Seven and nine at the top. We can now do two and one on this thing. Oh, well, let's just do Sudoku. Four, five. Oh, well, that sorts out the last two, three deadly pattern. And there we go. Six minutes, 58. Now, I probably don't deserve two hats for that one. So total, I reckon, eight or nine hats. Um, excellent puzzles. I mean, the quality is just extraordinary. Let's use PQRST, which were the name, which were the letters starting these puzzles to make an acronym saying Permanent Quality Resolves Sudoku Tricks. Because these are brilliant puzzles. Anyway, that is great fun. Thank you so much to the guys for creating those puzzles. Thank you for watching. Uh, enjoy the live stream, or I hope you have already enjoyed it if you're watching this later, and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.